right, so here's the new boat. I uh, did a tour of it the other day, but I didn't do a very good job of sort of going over everything. It's a uh, Southern Cross 28, uh, 1980. And just going over the exterior. The exterior of the boat overall is in pretty good shape. The uh, hull doesn't really have any blisters. Uh, there's some barnacles and some of the ablative, uh, some of the ablative uh, bottom paint is uh, worn off. There is an area of damage here uh, where she got damaged in a bit of wind that's been repaired, although it needs to be uh, gone back over and had a bit of a better job done to it. Very, very classic, um, classic line. She's a double ender. I'll show you the other side here in a minute. Fin keel, but it's a large fin keel. Uh, the lead ballast is molded into the keel, so no keel bolts to worry about. Three bladed prop, it still spins easily. The rudder here needs a little bit of attention. Uh, overall, in good shape, it just needs to be dropped so. Um, can be redone with the uh, exterior paint there. Back around to the other side. Comes with a uh, monitor wind vane as well, as well, which is nice, and a radar. And she's a double ender, which typically I'm not. Uh, as big a fan of double enders as I am a boat with a nice little transom, narrow transom, but I've kind of grown, grown to appreciate the double ended look. So I'm gonna take you up top side here. sail pack with the main sail in it got to go pick up the um, for sail and stay sail from the owner later today go ahead and walk up front it's got a uh, it looks like brass derades not bronze because they're not green at all like you would expect to see from bronze so they almost look brass to me Forward hatch, which is a little bit leaky, need to be addressed. There's some soft spots here on the deck that'll need to be addressed at some point. It's got a removable inner stay, roller furling head sail, and a full molded in bowsprit. The uh, mast is deck stepped. It looks like a tabernacle. Um, the previous owner has assured me that it's not, it just appears to be, but that'll take some further investigation there. Winches on the mast feel like they're in decent shape. She's got a, uh, carbon fiber spinnaker pole there, which despite sitting out, it looks to be in okay shape, I guess. Let's see all the way up to the top of the mast. Got our uh, Dodger here, which has been sitting out for the last four years, which I'm actually pretty impressed by the shape that it's in. Although it's not in great shape, I'm surprised it hasn't completely rotted away. Exterior teak is salvageable, but it does, it's basically end of life. You'll have to excuse the uh, mess of the cockpit. I've been draining the bilge and all the water on the inside. I did a another video tour that I'm recording over with this one where it was in a little bit cuter shape, but. Okay, so this is the interior of the boat. Uh, she's in fairly rough shape on the inside. A lot of water has gotten in through little uh, unproperly sealed port lights and various other uh, means that water 
enters an old sitting boat. Um, so all the interior plywood uh, pretty much needs to be ripped out and replaced. Uh, a lot of the hardwood, I'm not sure exactly what the hardwood is. It's nice tongue and groove. I think that can all be salvaged. And it's a uh, fairly narrow boat. It's eight and a half feet, so it's legal um, trailer road, road width. Um, so not a ton of space on the interior. Tea on either side. All the hatches are uh, solid bronze. Heavy, heavy duty. I'll open these up to try and get a little bit of uh, ventilation on the inside here. Try to do this one handed. So moving forward. Got the uh, there is no compression post, it's a deck step mast, and these two bulkheads here are what send the load um, down into the, the floor of the boat. Um, the again, the exterior wood here, the, the hardwood's in good shape, but the plywood has uh started to rot and will need to be replaced, so these bulkheads will have to come down. Uh, again, in general dirtiness of a boat that's been sitting. I've already done actually a decent amount of cleanup um, yesterday. And this is a lot of the gear that I think will be salvageable. Um, I've just sort of tossed up here in the four peak. It's a fairly small um, four peak or V-berth. Um, I don't think I could actually, I'm six foot one, I don't think I could actually comfortably stretch out um, there, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this area up here yet. Uh, again, all that wood's got to come out. The floors are all fairly soft. Hopefully, this shows up on the camera. No, that's not a water tank. That is just the bilge, which has accumulated some rainwater. It's been raining pretty heavily the last week or so here. And all these cabinets, the uh, you know, solid wood on the cabinet doors is in is in good shape uh, a little bit of a hanging locker there the head um sure it needs to be completely serviced or if not replaced um i don't believe there's a holding tank in this boat i think it just goes straight over the side and you see heavy uh heavy rot again all the plywood is just completely shot Little area storage area under the head sink. I think I'll just totally remove a head sink. I've already got a sink literally five feet away. I don't think there's a really a whole lot of use in putting another sink right here. Um, I think what I'll, I'll probably do is make a cutout here, extend this um, settee to be a full length berth. So we've got a berth on either side of the boat. Um, and then maybe put some sort of uh, cabinets there or something. Let's see. Uh, the galley area, it's got sort of a, a semi gimbling uh, two burner propane stove there with some storage underneath for silverware. And a decent amount of storage underneath there. Sink, some storage behind all these areas. The ice box is extremely uh, degraded from water leak. There's got to be a decent amount of water coming in from some sort of breach, which I'll have to sort out. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and show you the motor here. So the motor is a big question mark. Um, the rainwater that's gotten in here has gotten onto the motor and this boat's been sitting essentially unused for about four years. So this motor is probably got to have a serious overhaul, which I'll do as much of that myself as I can. But 
It's a. Uh, it's not the original motor. This is a Yamar 2G uh, Y20. If I'm getting the the numbers right, it's an 18 horsepower uh, Yamar motor. Um, alternator and starter, I'm sure, are toast, but um, she definitely needs some attention. So big variable there in terms of uh, the boat. I got the boat at a very good price. So got batteries uh, there, which are going to be absolute toast. Those I have to get replaced. Um, all this piping, a lot of it's actually uh, hoses and everything are uh, some aren't even connected. The uh, manual bilge pump doesn't actually go down into the bilge anymore. It's been cut. Um, so project for today is going to be get water out of the bilges, um, start ripping out some of the old dead wood that I can, um, and we'll, st we'll start from there and uh, see where we end up.